Alright, so a kick streamer that goes by just snags. I just got banned on kick and it's well deserved. And you I gotta applaud kick because you don't really see these guys really banning people like this. It has been multiple people on the platform doing some of the most outrageous thing, most famously Jack Dorte. That little prick. You know, he's been getting away with doing the most diabolical things, and um he's still on there safe, but just snags is somebody who absolutely does not deserve to be on the internet being talked about and um and he's just the product of a clout chaser this is what happens when you get people attention you know they're gonna do things like this purposely to get the attention if you guys know what i'm talking about judge snags this guy is one of like those disrespectful trolls he had said some shit about the cartel for no reason at all like that's a good idea you know what i'm saying like i know this is america you know you can say whatever you want but at the end of the day the cartel is here they have a massive presence in them if they want to put themselves on the line i guess deal with america's bullshit system they could they go to handle snacks you know it is that easy bro but he's not somebody who's worth it you know he's clearly just a stupid troll on the internet who just wants to go viral and you know he he got his wish because he was going viral for some of the most disrespectful things that a human being could do and um let's just take a look at the stupid video of him disrespecting the cartel boss el chapo if y'all want me to set him up let me know all right I'm not scared of your fuck out Chapo. How about that one, nigga? The fuck, I don't know who that nigga is. Fuck out Chapo, nigga. I'm El Chapo K, nigga. I will cut El Chapo's knuckle. Fuck the whole cartel. Suck my dick, nigga. And I'm going to Mexico next week. What, nigga? What you wanna do? Them niggas got machetes. I got a button. I click that whole crowd. I make a whole lot of Mexicans run, nigga. Talk about some GG. Yeah, I know. Talk about I'm scared of some Mexican. Never scared of no Mexican, nigga. I'm going to Cabo all that, nigga. Come do something to me, pussy. You see me face out, not ducking back, nigga. Talk about GG. Uh, never GG, nigga. This guy, like, he has to be the biggest fucking idiot cloud shit I've ever seen, bro. Okay? Anybody who says K at the end of something is a slow maniac because Chicago started the whole K thing. You know, K, like, somebody says, like, um, oh, well, he says Al Chapo K, they mean Al Chapo killer, bro. And when Chicago people started saying that, bro, they were mocking the dead. You know, they were saying we killed that person. So you guys are doing all this Chicago lingo or aren't even using it right, bro. Like, for real, y'all be talking about y'all smoking up. How you smoking ops of that nigga not even dead you know what i'm saying chicago nigga starts to be smoking ops because they killed those people bro like y'all just out here yapping on top of that he talked about machetes and i got a button which he's talking about a switch nigga that switch not gonna do nothing bro these niggas got army bro like what's wrong with him does he even know what's even going on in mexico these niggas are going to war with their own government like they literally been bitching their government bro and you seriously think you yourself a, 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 one person with the switch can pull up and go to war with these niggas bro I, are you serious a group of people who goes to war with the military all right bro dude, you're smart you're, you're good you're good ggs and you talking shit oh you're fried buddy you know what i'm saying they kill influencers just for speaking out against them you know i remember hearing about a story where an influencer was just speaking out against the cartel because he wanted better for his country and they smoked him for it bro literally just for that just for him saying yo i want a better country and the cartel needs to go because they're the ones who's fucking up our country they killed him for it now what you think they're gonna do to an influencer who's talking shit probably gonna cut you alive anyway so that was his rise to fame on twitter at least once he got a sniff at that clout on twitter it was like crack in the 80s bro he hit that shit and he wanted it bad bro and from there on i think he's most definitely purposely just saying the most outrageous thing to get clipped and posted on twitter for sure here's him making fun of a girl who he thinks is not attractive enough which it was so cap i think she's pretty like is she the baddest girl obviously not but she's pretty but it turns out that this girl is deaf. I'm down to rinse it up. I don't care. You not bad enough. Your nose, you got the fucking beak on you. You look, you look like you stink. Your hair look like your hair look mad rough. Like comb your hair a little bit. Mm. Yeah, you and your shit, your lips. Why are you, so mean? you dumb bitch. Look, look. Your lips look mad dry. Your hands is mad fat. You look crazy. Do this. Show me your teeth. Your teeth is you know? pussy. Your teeth is pussy, yellow. What the fuck? Stop speaking sign oh language. God. Fuck so all that sign language. You deaf? I am actually deaf. No, you're I'm not. Cause like, no, you do not, bro. 
Don't be with oh shit, my fault. I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. Yeah, they going. My bro, you're going to hell a long time ago, bro. Before even this encounter, okay? I don't think this is the first time we did stuff like this. I'm pretty sure he's done other things. They just weren't clipped and posted on Twitter, whether through the internet of him live streaming or in real life. But Snags didn't get enough because he got the bright idea that he should take the route of Riot LOL. You guys probably know who that is. Just in case you don't, Riot LOL is the Kickstarter he got exposed for being a pito. He would convince underage girls to um send them things and um those things would be sold in a discord to other people so not only was he a pito but he was a cp plug but snacks didn't go that far thankfully but what he was doing was like trying to flirt with girls on the omegle yes. <laughs> you 14 14 mm -hmm. yep so that what grade is that like a sophomore Eighth grade. Sophomore. Eighth grade. Sophomore. Can I play with that? Sophomore's little... like 16. What? Can I play with that little eighth grade? Yeah, you're... Mm. Yeah, you're not Bro, what is wrong with this nigga, bro? Like, I, I never even understood this type of clout chasing. Like, he wasn't the first one to clout chase like this. There've been other guys in the past who like did this like keto clout chasing thing. Like, one of the most famous ones was um, what's his name? Zerka. You guys remember when he used to do stuff like this? So I don't get it. Like, what's the point? Obviously, these guys look for shock value, but like, all you do is get more hate than um love. And the people who are tuning in to you are people who want to see you crash out. The people expecting you to say wild things. They're do wild things you know and the people who actually do like you are fans are people who are just fucked up as you which is not a good thing anyway so the most likely reason that this imbecile was banned on cake was because his beef was little tape and that's also my problem with cake they don't really ban anybody until a situation gets too big that they have to act on it you know that riot lol guy was doing that type of stuff on cake for however long and he didn't get banned until that one guy dropped that video on it. but just to say like why does it take somebody who's a big contact creator say something until you want to act on being responsible for your platform doesn't really make sense but anyways since little tay had commented on this guy calling him a pedo and also saying that you know what's wrong with him why does he make fun of deaf people i think it's safe to say that snags i got banned because of his response to little tay you know all he did was pedo troll for some odd reason like if i'm being accused of being a pedo why would i continue to pedo troll you know that's low-key insane and oh yeah did i forget to mention that he was being extremely racist Little Tay owns you. Fuck that little black and white bitch. I see that little bitch. I'm gonna break her fucking neck. I'm gonna step on her fucking school. I'm gonna break her school in half. She's sucking my dick. She wanna get some album promos, all that. What happened to you packing yourself, Little Tay? I don't even know you. All I heard was Little Tay died. I got so happy. I rolled up. I'm saying, smoking Tay. Smoking Little Tay. Oh my God, Tay, I'm out hot. I was gonna go to your fucking tombstone. I was gonna go to your fucking graveyard. I was gonna pee, pee all over that shit. I was gonna woo walk all over your grave. I swear, you little white cracker bitch. I hate you. Stop saying my name. I don't care. She started with me first. It's not slavery with white, 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 white people could treat us like shit. Y'all can say whatever you want. I can say something back, you white bitch. Get off my fucking I don't know you. Stop saying my fucking name. I don't even understand why he was calling her this keyword. Like, is he stupid? Because Lil Tay is Asian. Like, I, I know she's half white, but like, she clearly looks Asian. Her Asian side most definitely overrides whatever whiteness she may have in her. Because actually, now I think about it, I think that was her stepdad, not her real dad. But anyways, that's besides the point. She doesn't look like she has white in her. So why would, I, like, I don't know, man. The man's stupid. But that's not all that he said. So apparently he wants to take Lil Tay to Jeffrey Esther. Dean's Island. Jewish tunnels. I want you to take the tunnel entry. You know, take the tunnel entry. Little Tay. <laughs> Come to uh SB Island. What's 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 what, Epstein Island? Come to SB Island, uh Little Tay. Let me show you around FD Island. <laughs> I bet you're gonna come back right, man. That's why I want I went to Epstein Island. That's probably why I'm you know acting like this, man. No, you're acting like this because you are a unhinged maniac who needs to be put in the psych ward. Actually, fuck that. Send this nigga to Guantanamo Bay with the rest of the fucking terrorists where he belongs. Okay, he could take Jeffrey's spot since he wants to be him so bad. Can you actually believe this is a grown ass man saying all this? It really shows you that clout chasing doesn't have an age. You know, I would expect maybe a 16 year old to act like this, but no, you have just stags who 
it looks like a fucking 30 year old threatening to beat up a 14 year old or 15 year old girl bro insane anyways i'm glad he's banned on twitch that's just snacks the worst kick streamer since riot lol which that was only been like what <laughs> not even a month yet <laughs> damn okay 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 kick. you just love playing soccer huh anyways with that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like to subscribe and i'm logging out have a beautiful day hey wait i'm gonna disengage to do to social where you go see this magician play now watch me switch i flip the script unleash that inner rage and if i ever let sakuna out your witness